Hi, this is Karen Stafford from Dr. Stafford's Musical Cures, and I am going to show you my new product that can be used in the Google Classroom. It's called Melody Mountain, so and new version. It will be using both Google Slides and Google Form. So let's take a look. First of all, your student is going to have to run it in present form. So the directions will say, click present to begin. First directions. It's explaining what Melody Mountain is, and there are homes for sale. If you notice, the homes are on a hill from low to high, and they're numbered from bottom to top to correlate with the direction that the staff needs to go. The moving van is just about ready to move in. There's a place here for your student to hear directions if they have difficulty reading or if there is a parent who is not nearby or an adult who is not nearby to help them read. This is Melody Mountain. Look! It introduces high or low and a definition for high and low and the sound of the pitch. As the house gets closer, the student gets to guess the house number where the van first lands. And the new neighbor is introduced as So. The graphic for So shows the Kerwin hand signs so that if your child or your student is learning from home, they will still be able to get that. Here is So's song. Song has a song, and every night song. He won't like it if you say no more. A new neighbor is moving in. They listen, and they determine if that new neighbor is going to be lower or higher. And the answer is lower. And of course, the house is down here. But there are four houses on the hill. So there's a story that goes with it that gives a hint as to which house it's going to be. And introduces me. And me's song. And sometimes, so and me like to jam together. It explains why So and Me don't want to live right next door to each other. Then it goes from the spacing of the houses to a three-line staff and talks about the lines and the spaces so that they can see where Me is in relation to So. It also shows the up and down pattern and the left and right pattern as they're listening to the song so they get the idea of how that goes. When you click on the sold sign, it takes you to a, do I'm sorry, a Google Doc form. And in this case, the, di the directions and the songs have to be in link form. So first of all, as an example, it tells you where so is, and then the student follows these three patterns. It's number three, and then it tells them it's number three. Now that was the example, and then they get to go on to the next sections. 
directions, listening example. This is scored so that you will have a record of how the students did so that you know what reinforcements need to be done. Like I mentioned earlier, this can be used in Google Classroom. You will receive upon purchase a PDF document that tells you how to set it up in Google Classroom and how to link the Google Form to the Google Sites because you will have it in your own folder so it will not draw from Musical Cures server. If you have any questions, please email me Karen at drstaffordsmusicalcures.com. Thank you for listening.